से साधु 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 सो डियर धामा प्रैक्टिशनर्स प्रैक्टिसिंग मेडिटेशन इच्छर टेक अस टू अंडरस्टैंड आवर इनर thoughts why we have to understand it because that your life happening itself with the the choice deeply underneath happening within ourselves so when the inside if you cannot come to the right choice then as a result of that what will happen you will experience inside unhappiness so when you experience the inside unhappiness as a result of that what will happen the outside world always going to have conflict difficulties so inside unhappiness bring the outside conflict and when you able to observe and recognize the inside so see the difference that when you go with the when you fail to have the right choice inside you it leads you to the unhappiness inside and as a result of that it the outside world going to have conflict and when you observe inside and when you see your inner thoughts it not going to that it not going to take you to happiness it going to take you to understand it. so as a result of your inner understanding the outside world going to experience the love the security compassion comfort so if this is not happening properly then what will happen once it become pattern and the person will experience it and then the then other people will go through them, then everyone get into the same kind of difficulty so that's why personally you have responsibility to take care of your mind take care of your heart take care of your life why because that whatever outcome going to affect for others and then when everybody take care of themselves then everybody going to have the security everybody going to receive the compassion love but 100% it may not going to happen because it never happen all the time in the it not going to happen all over the world but at least in your capacity try your best so then you will get the benefit out of it and at the same time that your life itself becoming result for others to have the comfort so an other thing is when you practice meditation it brings uh, another ability to yourself so that ability is seeing and recognizing the path of the thought so as you know nowadays when you uh, buy something online or when you post something that there is a you can get a tracking number and once you have the tracking number you can keep tracking that where that 
parcel or the your order or your letter or anything so the tracking is a kind of like indicates various various points that is one meaning of tracking and the, another me another meaning follow the course tracking and another meaning not the location recognizing the location not the location and show you the path this all included to tracking when you track you get this all information so practicing meditation in a certain level allow you to track your thoughts so it it happen in a certain way it is it, there are a few methods that the way you have to develop this this seeing yourself the follow the course with the thoughts the experience happening in you and recognizing the points and it's it's allow you to see the locations inside you and it will help you to understand the behavior so when it come to that there are a few methods that you have to develop so remember this few methods when it come to the vipassana level this all methods you can apply at once to track your your thoughts so one is one one method ajjatva bahidava so ajjatva means you have when the feelings come when the recognition come when the perception arise uh, that come to you you have to recognize it ajjatva within yourself that what you experience so that that is ajjat so with your eye ear nose tongue body mind whatever the form feeling sensation formation recognizes uh, recognition arise in you you have to recognize that feeling by yourself your own feelings not about somebody else and have the effort to get out of from the greed hatred and the delusion with that with that feelings you recognize it and at the same time you have the the effort to reduce the greed hatred or the delusion you cannot you're not going to throw it to somebody else so that as example somebody make a cake and then when you eat it you can you can make a comment on that and telling oh this is so good so when you comment that hmm, that whatever you eat is good you giving credit to the maker whoever make it but here what the ajjatta mean you you not going to to go with the outside person you going to experience that good what you experience or the the taste you experience are you having the the greed with that taste in that very moment so they, that is why that some people think that uh, this meditation means just close your eyes and just sit and you know you're wasting your time some people say like that 
No. And then when it comes to the vipassana level, there is a way that your mind starts to develop the, the, the skill to analyze. That's why it's called the analytical meditation. So then whatever you experience, that's example, you, you, you heard some word and by, while you're hearing that, you get hurt. So you got you got hurt and then you put the the blame on others while you hearing it and you think that other person who were blaming to you is responsible for your hurt but sometimes if you look very carefully when the hurt arises in you you can see you get hurt because deeply you disturb or the you you have the anger so there is there is the anger in you that's why you get hurt not because of the outside and the ignorance the same So like that, whatever you experience with the, any perception with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, and you experience and recognize that if there is any greed, hatred, or the delusion, and then you have effort to reduce it within yourself. So you exercise yourself. You see, it, you got hurt, you see it, you accept it, you got hurt, but at the same time, you work for yourself because you got hurt because it, it is your own anger. Another thing is that whatever you experience, you see the impermanent, unsatisfactory nature, nature and the selflessness. So those are the qualities you have to reflect with any kind of feelings. In a first level, reducing the greed, hatred, and the delusion related to that feelings. And another way is at the same time reducing it and not to clinging to it and understanding that whatever you feel as a greed, hatred, or the delusion, rather than personalizing it, holding it, clinging it, harboring to that experience, you're recognizing that even what you experience is impermanent and unsatisfactory nature related to that and the selflessness. So that is one way, ajata, you recognizing and you always analyzing it. And the bahidda, so whatever the outside for your eyes, the colors or the pictures come to you. Sound come to your ear as a, your object. The aroma or the smell come to your nose object. Taste come to you as your tongue object. The feelings come to you as your bodily object. The phenomena or the, the ideas come to you as your mind object. So, ajata, your inside experience by the, the outside object. With the outside object, if there is a, the greed, hatred, or the delusion arise, basically, that outside object help you have the influence to increase your greed. So the first level you experience within yourself as, as a habitual pattern, or maybe that is your character. As you know that it doesn't matter the outside nature, you have to understand this very carefully. This is not the same thing. There are two things. 
So as example, the, the greediness, there are some people, they have the, the, the character, they are, they are, genetically they are greed. It, it doesn't matter whatever it is. It doesn't matter. There is a outside some is a beautiful or not. Hmm? They always have the grip. They always anything they like to. This is for me. Can can I have this? Can I have that? This always like to to hold it. The, even the mentally. So that is inside. But there is another thing that with the outside. So as example. There, because in the outside world, there are really sometimes beautiful things. And it, it really affects for you to go towards that. That's why we, uh, that, uh, when, when you go to outside, you, you go and you, you try to look and select yourself things. And in a material way, you can make two things. One is not look like nice and you can make something look nice, like nice, beautiful. So that means that outside also has a, some kind of power and the influence. That's why something become better than another thing. So you cannot neglect. No, no, it is just only Inside, no, no, there is an outside door. So. That's why we always go with the, the choice. And then you know there are some selections. So when you see something with outside, and that also you recognize if there is a greed, hatred, or the delusion arise with that outside object, you recognize that. Hmm? And at the same time, you recognize the impermanent, unsatisfactory nature, selflessness regarding that also. That is one way you tracking your thoughts. So whatever happened with the inner feelings and whatever happened with the outside, you always recognize the greed, hatred and the delusion and reduce it. And another way, while you reducing it, the same feelings, you recognizing impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness. So the both way, inside, outside. And another way you tracking, when you go deeper, you can see this thought. This, they, actually, you, you have ability to recognize this. Another one is Sukuma Olarika. Sukuma is kind of like a soft. It has naturally given you very comfort. And, and it, has a, it also has an inner quality and the outside. So as example, for some people, the very soft things or even rough things, they don't have feelings with that. They, it, they, it, it is the, it's naturally, they, they cannot get it. So like that with the thoughts, there are certain behavior come with you that naturally it make you more melt, kind of like a soft. It's a behavior of the thoughts. And the, another things, there are some perception make you rough, make you rough, tough and hard. So that kind. So uh, as example, that when someone says something uh, kind of like a 
when when you have something and you feel like to give and you feel like uh, to empathize sympathize that 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 feelings come because you you become mellow inside you and uh, so that is the the sukuma so you have to recognize when there are thoughts come it is not you that is the behavior of the thoughts it make you mellow soft then your reaction going to become different but sometimes and other people appreciate that and then you hold that mellow thoughts soft thoughts as your character you again and again repeat it but when that kind of thoughts happens you have to be very careful not allow that kind of thoughts to increase your greed hatred or the delusion and to reduce the 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 reduce the greed hatred and the delusion and also need to understand not to label it as permanent as a, a kind of like a comfort happiness not to label it as a self because sometimes we like to show off like we are so mellow you know we are so kind and we are we so soft we like to show off like that and we build up the character and we label it as this is me no you see it and you you allow you not to going to hold it you you reduce the greed hatred and the delusion and knowingly that what you experience impermanent selfless and it has unsatisfactory nature the all arika is kind of like the, making you strong tough rough so I'll, I'll like as example wrestling you know the boxing game you know when uh, all the audience or the running you know maybe maybe the all the audience cheering you feel oh go and get it go and get it and then you feel oh this is me so that's it. that is and uh, sometimes when when singing you know when the audience become so happy oh one more one more and the person oh this is me and it's it's gain the power it's become rough strong tight so that we bound to that nature but it is also a thought so you recognize it when it happen to you oh the this is a behavior of a thought not you do not you're not going to put it this is me you're not going to characterize it you're not going to experience it the self centered mind you recognize it and not allow it to increase your greed hatred or the delusion and uh, sometimes you know how the uh, as example maybe somebody come to you and tell you are the strongest person go and go and hit him you know beat him get the revenge you are the right person you can do it why because you, you are. so then the person see that his that he feel is strong that lead him to to do something and hurt somebody with the anger and so sometimes the greed oh i can make it oh i want it the desire so like that sukuma or like soft it can make you soft and that way also you attach those are the thoughts we have this all the inner character so one is inside outside and the sukuma olarika soft and hard and other one is hina pranita the next the third quality hina pranita means hina means little minor minus pranita 
is kind of like a more the quantity is bigger so the it, it kind of like uh, the thoughts can come to you in a certain way that the minor thoughts when you have the 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 very little bit of influence with the something that as example that uh, anger you get angry but it is not a strong but anger is there everybody see you got you got ang angry but uh, you you able you smile and you just pass it and then everybody say oh look at you you are so good you are you know you know, so that, that minor thought create your character and you also attach to it and then you hold it and maybe that uh, you go to a place and everybody taking things and then maybe you you don't you don't go that man you don't have that much the strong feelings to to buy a lot of things and then maybe somebody comment oh you are very simple and that the simplicity is that you hold that thought and you attach to that thought and you create your character with that thought and you then naturally you you act with that thought you want to show that you are simple so heen is always the kind of it it is kind of like a with go with the laziness also lethargy also and the pranita in the in the quantity wise it's good it's kind of like a make you busy do lot of things and people have you oh, you are so, you doing so, lot, so much work you doing lot of things and then the person get attached to that why he build up the character and he he develop his personality oh everybody think i can do this i am a macho guy and you know eh, that everybody appreciate when i do lot of things i am multi multitasking and then the lot of thoughts and you go with it and you you caught up there and then what will happen as a result of that unknowingly inside you your greed hatred and the delusion arise see that the with the minus thoughts also it also can become a character and it can in, increase your greed hatred and the delusion and then with the 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 quantity wise if the the thoughts become bigger the feelings become bigger and that also can increase your greed hatred and the delusion but you have to see it and while you seeing it you have to be wise inside you to reduce increase that kind of feelings allow you to increase your greed hatred or the delusion and to reduce it and other thing is to know not to attach to that not you don't make a kind of like a identity bring it out and you don't show off it as your character and you you not hold it to it and you recognizing that what you experience related to impermanent and it has unsatisfactory nature and selflessness and the fourth one dura santika dura santika means sometimes the thoughts the whatever the thoughts is take us 
to a past and that whatever happened in the past or maybe you are here now and then in that very moment somebody in another place maybe another city another country and doing something so as example that uh, we are here in los angeles and then somebody in sri lanka or in india or england or any other country japan or, and in this very moment and doing something and, and maybe so that you you sponsor for do some social service and that person doing it and then maybe showing a kind of like a whatsapp video live video for you so it happening far away now you watching it here and you it allow you to that whatever you watch in the very moment it happening far away and you watching it you experiencing it in the moment and that what you watch increase your greed hatred or the delusion so that already happening far away but you are here personalizing it so when you see that you have to recognize it happening far away and if it is increase your greed hatred or the delusion you have to reduce it knowing so as example you no know, that somebody doing something wrong maybe you have a property somewhere and in that very moment when somebody doing something and you see it here and seeing it it increase your anger so you have to reduce it because that whatever you get angry in this very moment here doesn't change that whatever happened in there and it effect only for you and maybe as a result of that in that very next moment remember when i beginning i mentioned that inside unhappiness bring the outside conflict so whatever that you get disturbed and then the very next moment something else happen so like then dur or oh, whatever happening far away then if it is increase your greed hate the the delusion you have to reduce it maybe somebody went now it's a long weekend somebody went to vegas or my vacation hawaii or maybe giving a showing you oh, look at we came to this hotel we have this and looking at that and maybe you have you gain the desire lust oh wow it's already far away but here looking at it if you have that you have to reduce it knowing it. another thing is we have to know that whatever happened in that far away impermanent and the it has the unsatisfactory nature and selfless and sometimes things that one is the far away and very close in this very moment very next to you so whatever happens also the same if it is increase your greed hatred and the delusion and reduce it and know whatever that close to you impermanent and selfless 
and it has unsatisfactory nature. So that way, in you developing your analytical method. So one is Ajata Bahidda, inside, outside, Sukuma Olarika, soft and hard, Hina Pranita, minus and quantity wise more, strong, heavy, and Dura Santika, far away or close by. And if any thoughts arise to and that the the next one, Atita Pachupanna Anagata. Whatever thoughts related to your past, present, or the future, that's or any thoughts come. These all thoughts you have to watch and see. Is it allow you to increase your greed, hatred, or the delusion? If it is so, you have to reduce it. And you have to know it is impermanent and it has the unsatisfactory nature and selfless. So in this very moment that whatever you experience as I experience, it, it has these all three qualities related to past and it related to the present and also it has some relationship to the future. If you look very carefully, that is where the, the self-identity exists. It always clinging to past, present and the future. This all three ways. As example, you practicing meditation and listening to this Dhamma and in your mind, you have certain knowledge and the experience and you reflecting on thinking that I have this much experience and I used to this. So this all included to this moment. And with that, you listening, you watching, you, you, you trying to catch something. And at the same time, you, you already have a future build up in you. Maybe thinking about to gain the wisdom or attaining to Nibbana or maybe something else. So like that, the present moment itself when you come to the point, I am, that I come with the past, present, and the future. So when you try to explain you, you always, in your mind, you always have this past, present, and the future. So that's why when it comes to the selflessness, it has a deeper meaning and you just come to the moment of experience without separation the subject and the object perception and the perceiver and you you don't try to limit your experience you don't try to go with the comparison your experience so th that that all related to the the selfless experience but we we go we have to go little by little little by little so then this when it come to this analytical meditation means it is just not something that you see and oh, it is like it is this. No, see, this all going to be there. So, whatever thought it, it, you have this ability in your mind. So, just imagine when the very first day when you start your to drive, you know, the maybe somebody taught you, or the inspector came and guide you. And how many things, how busy, you know, a lot of things to do, you know giving the gas, the brake maybe doesn't work properly. You know, you cannot, you know, keep the balance, it go here and there. 
and you cannot look at the mirror and uh, when you can, when you see the side mirror may you forget the rear view mirror so like that there are a lot of things but little by little you get it and now when you get into the vehicle and even you don't think about it but this all happening so like that even though you see it kind of like a list all these five things how we going to you know come to a point to think about the inside outside and uh, it's a soft and the hard and good and bad nice and ugly how are we going to get these things but you when you little by little slowly pick up things practice yourself and you can you you start to see it happening in you so that's why in, in a vipassana meditation that the seeing this all the qualities in you once you're able to see that if you come to the point to to reduce the greed hatred and the delusion in you and at the same time if you able to recognize with this all the all the experience all the feelings thoughts happening in you if you recognize the impermanent unsatisfactory nature and selflessness that is the highest the experience that you can gain in with this human mind and that experience will transform you from this conventional life to eternal experience that is the day you experience your liberation your transformation the ultimate bliss of nibbana so with that i bless upon you everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhit yo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatvantarayo suti digayuko bhav yattavata cha amhi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabb sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सबे सत्ता अनुमोदन तु सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया इदं मे पुण्य तमं आसवत्या वहनो तु सब दुखा पमुचतु ब्लेस यू